Still on the subject of securing America on nuclear weapons, President Obama reportedly considered changing the nation's longstanding policy on first use. Do you support the current policy? Mr. Trump, you have two minutes on that. Well, I have to say that, uh, you know, for what Secretary Clinton was saying about nuclear with Russia, she's very cavalier in the way she talks about various countries. But Russia has been expanding. They're, they have a much newer capability than we do. We have not been uh, updating from the new standpoint. I looked the other night, I was seeing B-52s. They're old enough that your, your father, your grandfather could be flying them. Uh, we are not... We are not keeping up with other countries. I would like everybody to end it, just get rid of it, uh, but I would certainly not do first strike. I think that once the nuclear alternative happens, it's over. At the same time, we have to be prepared. I can't take anything off the table because you look at some of these countries, you look at North Korea, uh, we're doing nothing there. China should solve that problem for us. China should go into North Korea. China is, is totally powerful as it relates to North Korea. And by the way, another one powerful is the worst deal I think I've ever seen negotiated that you started is the Iran deal. Iran is one of their biggest trading partners. Iran has power over North Korea. And when they made that horrible deal with Iran, they should have included the fact that they do something with respect to North Korea. And they should have done something with respect to Yemen and all these other places. And when asked to Secretary Kerry, why didn't you do that? Why didn't you do add other things into the deal? One of the great giveaways of all time, of all time, including $400 million in cash. Nobody's ever seen that before. That turned out to be wrong. It was actually $1.7 billion in cash. Obviously, I guess, for the hostages, it certainly looks that way. So you say to yourself, why didn't they make the right deal. This is one of the worst deals ever made by any country in history. The deal with Iran will lead to nuclear problems. All they have to do is sit back 10 years and they don't have to do you're, much you're and they're going to end up firing. getting nuclear. I met with Bibi Netanyahu the other day. Believe me, he is not a happy camper. Well, all right. Mrs. Uh, well, Clinton, Secretary Clinton, you have two minutes. Let me, let me, let me start by saying words matter. Words matter when you run for president, and they really matter when you are president. And I want to reassure our allies in Japan and South Korea and elsewhere that we have mutual defense treaties, and we will honor them. It is essential that America's word be good. And so I know that this campaign has caused some questioning and some worries on the part of many leaders across the globe. I've talked with a number of them, uh, but I want to, on behalf of myself, and I think on behalf of a majority of the American people, say that, you know, our word is good. It's also important that we look at the entire global situation. There's no doubt that we have other problems with Iran, but personally, I'd rather deal with the other problems having put that lid on their nuclear program than still to be facing that. And Donald never tells you what he would do. Would he have started a war? Would he have bombed Iran? If he's going to criticize a deal that has been very successful in giving us access to Iranian facilities that we never had before, then he should tell us what his alternative would be. But it's like his plan to defeat ISIS. He says it's a secret plan, but the only secret is that he has no plan. So we need to be more precise in how we talk about these issues. People around the world follow our presidential campaigns so closely, trying to get hints about what we will do. Can they rely on us? Are we going to lead the world with strength and in accordance with our values? That's what I intend to do. I intend to be a leader of our country that people can count on, both here at home and around the world, uh, to make decisions that will further peace and prosperity, but also stand up to bullies, whether they're abroad or at home. We cannot let those who would try to destabilize the world, to interfere with American interests and security, to be given is, any opportunities is, at all. Is expired. Let's Mr. do Trump, one thing I'd like to say. Very quickly. Uh, I will seconds, go very please. quickly, but I will tell you that Hillary will tell you to go to her website and read all about how to defeat ISIS, which she could have defeated 
by never having it, you know, get going in the first place. Right now, it's getting tougher and tougher to defeat them because they're in more and more places, more and more states, more and more nations. Mr. Trump. And it's a big problem. And as far as Japan is concerned, I want to help all of our allies. But we are losing billions and billions of dollars. We cannot be the policemen of the world. We cannot protect countries all over the world just a, where they're not paying us what we need. We have and just a few final She doesn't questions. say that because she's got no business ability. We need heart. We need a lot of things. But you have to have some basic ability. And sadly, she doesn't have that. All of the things that she's talking about could have been taken care of during the last 10 years, let's say, while she had great power. But they weren't taken care of.